Situation, Snake. Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Snake, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D? Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. Looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? 
Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Solitan radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've 
You've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But... There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission beam. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Hmm. Huh.
Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Thanks for the help! Wait! Who are you? You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Blow up along with the old man. 
So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again! Who are you? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim! Now you want to shut me up! Oh. <laughs> Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys. Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No. That woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. 
They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level 2 doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. 
They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... He's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? You're not even armed. I appreciate your help from before, but I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. 
Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry. I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Ah. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well... I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you.
don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. <laughs> That's right, you belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Just as you said, in battle, he is as if possessed by a demon, much like you. I would expect no less. You see? I told you so, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only a lack in my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. Watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. <sighs> I felt that snake. 
Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. 
the terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it, in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah. But that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn! S -s Damn! I'm such a fool! It's all my fault! The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? 
I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they spotted me! <laughs> Meryl! What happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She has such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Boxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. 
All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So, there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I wanna know who I am, what I'm capable of. I wanna know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Snake. How do you like me? What the? Do you like me? Hold me, Snake. What's wrong? Oh, oh hurry, hurry. Make love to me. Oh, Snake, I want you. Who's that? Oh, you don't like girls?
useless woman. Up to camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You... You doubt my power? Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world! No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psychomantis! That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So... You used the other... I... I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I'll read your future. <laughs> Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. You have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the pasts, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish. An atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? 
I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> We are truly the same, you and I. <laughs> the world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. Even I know that. 
It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. No! My gun. I can't reach it by myself. Don't move. I promised. I would slow you down. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Get out of here! Meryl! Damn! Snake, it's a trap. The sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. You are a fool to come back here. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Didn't you know that two-thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill what I aim at. Oh. You're my... Special prey. Got it. You're all I think about. Take him away. Yes, he's my target, my 